Hi guys, my name is Anthony Murphy. I'm the CEO and founder of Attention Media, a regional digital marketing agency focused on helping regional businesses become iconic brands by leveraging digital marketing and social media. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today I brought you Anthony Murphy, the digital marketing expert. Anthony, Anthony, how are you doing, my man? I'm doing very well, Prosper. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Now, Anthony is the founder and CEO of Attention Media. And as you know, we're always trying to bring you people that will help you um, build your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable. And we also live and breathe um, you know, the ranking of your business on the first page of Google. And what's more, people like Anthony are here to help regional business owners who are actually making a real difference in the world uh, to actually get more clients and more revenue. And he does this through the use of social media uh, strategies and other digital marketing strategies. Now, Anthony, thank you so much for being with us on the show today. No, appreciate it, Prosper. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Now, at Attention Media, tell us a little bit about how you got started and um, what it is that you actually do there. Sure, sure. So look, the business started uh, a couple of years ago. It, it's derived from, I've always had a love for, for things that are digital, for tech, for social media. Um, and throughout my short career, I had the opportunity working in uh, the family business to have a play around with uh, marketing and sales and do stuff online, which was great. Um, and that was back 10 years ago. And that sort of transitioned through my career at the family business to start heading up their marketing and sales there as a marketing and sales manager. And it led me to starting a podcast, which led to people approaching me looking for help with social media and digital marketing. And from that, I was able to start Attention Media. And uh, yeah, here we are today, and we're really excited to be able to help regional businesses when it comes to their social media and digital marketing. Absolutely. So a lot of regional businesses um, have been that corner store that everybody within the area sort of knows, and maybe their biggest um, hurdle is maybe they don't quite need to go online uh, since everybody already knows who they are. How do you sort of tackle that when it comes to that small uh, business mindset? Sure, sure. Look, there's something that I say to a lot of my clients is that oftentimes um, you will, you know, so regional towns may have a smaller population than the capital cities, right? But generally that means that there's also less competition. So let's take a hairdressing salon, for example, right? In the same sort of area that you have in a capital city, there may be 20 hairdressing salons, right? But in a regional town, you're going to be looking at perhaps a quarter of that. There might be five hairdressing salons in that same area. So basically, when it comes to your digital marketing and social media, one, you have less competition to be fighting against day-to-day -day online, but two, you also have more chance of rising above the pack and standing out to people in the regional area if you're doing things online because a lot of people still aren't being active on social and taking advantage of digital marketing. So there's a lot of advantages there. Absolutely. A lot of businesses that I've also spoken to that are in the sort of regional uh, catchment area also complain that they have a lot of out of towners liking and commenting their stuff, which then does not translate into money uh, coming their way. How do you then sort of cater for that, um, you know, discrepancy when it comes to, um, you know, a, a social media outlay that yeah. a regional business person can do? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And I think, look, as you know, with digital marketing and social media these days, so much of it comes back to targeting the right audience, making sure your content is tailored to the right audience. So what you want to make sure you're doing is when you are running social media or digital marketing campaigns, that you have your targeting set so that you're not wasting your ad spend or your time and your effort promoting your business to people that are outside of that area who are going to use your services. So with platforms like Facebook these days, you can target specific towns, areas, postcodes, you can make it really specific. So if you don't want to be marketing to people who may be too far away to use your services, you can definitely take advantage of that with social media platforms today. 
Absolutely. Now, Anthony, I mean, when social media started 10, 11 years ago, or whichever way it was, it was free. Okay. And, yes. you know, I got people showing up on my page. Everybody knew, liked and commented on our posts. Now, nobody seems to be doing that. Are they liking businesses from out of town or what could be happening there? Look, uh, unfortunately, depending on which way you want to look at it, um, these days, the top social media platforms are very much pay to play, right? So they have reached such a critical mass in numbers now. Um, and, you know, their business model is through advertising, right? So for them to keep building their platform, for it to still be free for everybody to use, they have to take advantage of advertising. So because of that, because there are so many people these days, you do now have to be able to spend just a little bit of money, even at the beginning, to make sure that your content reaches your target audience. And again, you can be really specific with who you show your content to, so you're not showing it to people who aren't relevant to your business. But these days, you do have to consider um, using some form of ad budget to make sure that your content gets seen by the right people. Absolutely. So you mean that now that I'm paying Facebook, I also have to pay somebody like you as well. Um, where would my profit then be? Well, that's right. And these days, like you may need to make sure that you do your research, right? And that you are working with someone who knows what they're doing, who understands the platform. But most importantly, I think also takes the time and effort to understand your business, right? There's, there's no shortage of digital marketers of digital marketing agencies so you really have a lot to choose from, but what you really want to make sure that you do is the person that you decide to work with, try and make sure that they care about your business and they have your business's best interests at heart because you're much more likely to get a return on your investment if you're working with someone who understands your business and can tie the social media into the objectives of your business. Absolutely. Let's say I'm a regional flower shop there, Anthony and I approach you um, and I really want more sales. It's uh, slowly getting to Easter and it's going to be Mother's Day soon. What sort of strategy would you walk me through in order for us to maybe double the sales that we had from uh, the previous year when we didn't have a digital marketing strategy? Sure, sure. Look, right off the top of my head, I would immediately look to put a campaign together and target that to all of the fathers <laughs> that are in the local area and send them a bit of a reminder ad that Mother's Day is coming up and to make sure that you're booking in nice and early to make sure that those flowers are delivered. Absolutely. Great stuff. Because at the end of the day, some of these strategies, you know, you as a digital marketer, you might know what works and what wouldn't work. And for people that are out there, they wouldn't really um, have a grasp of, you know, what to use. Now, now that we sort of know that this is what is possible for even regional, um, you know, areas and, and people that are, you know, in, in, in not, not living in the cities, do people have to be present or available at every social media platform in order for their marketing to be effective? Definitely not. Definitely not. I think a lot of the time people get a bit overwhelmed by the amount of platforms, the amount of options and features, and it just gets too much. So there is a lot of talk these days about needing to be omnipresent, right? Which means that you need to be on every platform, that any platform that people use, they need to be able to find your business. But at the end of the day, not every social media platform is suited to every business. And at the end of the day, you need to try and work out which platform your target audience and the most of your customers are using because they might be using one platform and not another. So you need to do that background work at the beginning to work out where they're spending their time and then focus your efforts on that platform. Normally, it's best to try and concentrate on one or two platforms to start with. And then once you get that strategy down and you start seeing some results with those platforms, you can then branch out and try a few more. Great. How important is video as a strategy for regional businesses these days? Yeah, definitely. Look, Video is basically taking over the internet. Um, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO and founder of Facebook has said that by 2019, 2020, so in less than two years time, 80% of all content on Facebook will be video. So, and that trend is sort of becoming a reality with the amount of shows that are being produced on different networks, different social media platforms, 
Um, you know, with the growth of YouTube, there are so many hundreds of hours worth of video footage posted to YouTube every single day that it's, it's pretty mind boggling. Um, but video is such a great medium to use with your marketing because it gives you that real time, authentic connection with your target audience, with the viewer. Um, and it, it's just such a, a rich form of content that can really grab people's attention that it's definitely worth looking at for your business in this year, 2018, and also in the future. Absolutely. Are there any costs involved? Um, you know, is it an expensive sort of strategy to, 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 to jump onto? Yeah, sure. Look, it, it's totally up to you. You can make it expensive if you want to, or you can keep it nice and budget and work within, you know, what you have to work with. All you really need is your smartphone, right, to get started. Literally, the cameras in the smartphones these days with the latest model iPhones, you can shoot 4K video, which is super crisp, and most screens don't even reach that resolution anyway. So all you need is that iPhone to start filming some footage, whether it's inside your business, whether it's you personally, and see what works, see what resonates with your customers. But the number one thing that you want to remember with your video is that you want to try and tell a story but tell the story in a way that provides value to the person that's viewing it. Um, that's the best way to, to see results with your video marketing. Right. In a regional um, you know, community or a regional setup as a business person, do you think it's wise to start a Facebook Live strategy? Yes, um, I do. Simply because, number one, Facebook loves live video basically over every other type of content at the moment. That's the way the algorithm works. Um, so live video gets more reach, more distribution uh, organically than other types of content. So they want people to be making lots of live video. So that's a quick win. But also the fact that, again, video gives you that um, authenticity. You, you get that tone. You get that real person. You get to connect with that person in real time. And when it comes to regional cities, and not just regional cities, but, you know, worldwide, not a lot of people are leveraging live video still. So you already get uh, an immediate boost. You get uh, you know, the upper hand if you can leverage live video because not everybody else is doing it. So it's a great time to start. Absolutely. Now, Anthony, obviously, if some people in our audience are really looking and watching this video, they can totally understand that you're a man about town, especially in Shepparton, that really knows um, you know, the ins and outs of what's actually happening and you've got your uh, thumb on the pulse uh, when it comes to all these digital marketing strategies. Thank you so much for that. Now, how can people get a hold of you um, just in case they want to know more and really get to sit down and maybe expand on, that, on the questions that I was asking you in this show today? Certainly, certainly. And that's, that's another thing that I love to do. It's, you know, business is about people. So making those connections, talking with other business owners, that's exactly the part of the job that I love the most. So if anybody would like to get in touch with me, they can find uh, my website is anthonygmurphy.com or they can find me on pretty much all the socials at Anthony G. Murphy. Um, Facebook is Anthony G. Murphy one. Absolutely. Well, I can't thank you enough, but obviously this is like the second month of 2018 and it's just come to a complete end. Now, if we had written our New Year's resolutions or painted them on the wall, the paint would only be just drying right now. It so, would. you know, there could be a few uh, pointers that you can help other people that are really struggling maybe to start, scale and grow a business. Um, and what is it that they can actually do um, if you've got any sort of two pieces of advice that you can leave with us today? Yeah, sure. So I think, you know, a lot of advice really sounds cliche these days because it's things that we already know we should do, but we just don't get around to doing it. So if we're looking at growing a business, scaling a business, the advice that I'd give was to be really try and focus on getting a social media strategy in place because so much of our time these days as a consumer, as your target audience, we spend so much time on our mobile phones that you can reach basically anybody these days. And it doesn't matter if you think that your business isn't suited for social media because there's lots of businesses that I work with that you might not think are suited, like accounting firms. Um, there is still so much value that you can provide and people are still looking for that information. So try and be available online. That's number one. 
Number two is to provide value in your content. A lot of people really struggle with the idea of, okay, cool, yep, I'm happy to use social media to grow my business, but what sort of content do I create? You know, what do I put out? What do I say? My advice is to tell your business story, um, make sure that you're being authentic and you're providing people value and basically try and answer your target audience, for want of a better word, try and answer the que- <laughs> try and answer their problems, right? Whatever, if you're a, a, an accounting group, people are having trouble getting finance for their startup to grow their business. So put out content around helping startup businesses with their finance and with their cash flow, right? Just provide answers to questions that they might be struggling with. I hope that helps. Absolutely. Well, obviously, yes, the social strategy, uh, it is something that's really crucial because you can't go to battle uh, with people that are yielding guns with you going out with just a steak knife, you know? So it's, it's, <laughs> it's not, even if, like those com- <laughs> even if you're coming in from a regional uh, sort of town. But Anthony, I can't thank you enough for your time today on the show. And if you're watching this show today, you would be appreciative that all the guests that we're bringing in are people that are, um, you know, hell bent to give you all the advice that you might need to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. So follow Ant. I'm going to be putting in all his uh, details at the bottom in the show notes. And also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe and share this content so that everybody else can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. This has been Prosper Taravinga and Anthony. Thank you so much for watching today. Thanks for having us.